Hey there, Sam is here and thank you so much for visiting this channel. If you've been there before, I want to start by shouting you out. And if you're my subscriber, I want to appreciate you for that. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can scratch your song without stopping and this time around using a scratch DNA. And also something that I want to pass out briefly is that I'm going to start updating my videos one by one. So I'm also going to be giving you updates on scratches and all the other videos that I've been making all along. So I'm going to be giving you a bonus tip when it comes to scratch dna in virtual dj especially 2021 and maybe even some other versions but that's what i'm using right now and i hope it's going to help you and without wasting a lot of time if you're still new please let's subscribe and then let's get started all right so i'm going to only give you the mappings over here that i've used <clears throat> i don't usually use answer music in this because i i don't own any right to these songs but then i i just wanted to get the concepts that's why i'm using this loop over here i just hope i'm safe with it I'm only going to give you the mappings right away that I'm using. There are three things you should keep in mind this time around when you want to scratch a song without having to stop using uh, Scratch DNA in Virtual DJ. The first thing you want to know is you have to have a play button. I use a play and stutter button. And the other thing you want to know is you have to stylize your scratches a bit. You, you, last time we had around 30 styles that you can be using in your DNA mixes. But then this time around you can be switching between them so that means you only have to play certain scratches while pressed and then you jump to the other one and then later you play even before the scratch dna comes to its end and then the next thing that i'm going to give you is that you can also stop the song and then you scratch while the other deck is playing so we are going to be switching between the decks so the, the only thing that is very important here is that you're going to clone the deck and cloning the deck is another tip and one last tip that you should know I'm, I'm going to show the mapping over here is also that you can uh, stop a song and then scratch using the DNA and then let it play from a particular cue point that you want so for this one here you have to make sure your song has good cue points already set and then you're going to be scratching uh, so you can be scratching between different cue points you stop it here and then you scratch and let it play from the next cue point so let's see what the mappings are I'm going to go to my settings and then I'll be coming to mappings and here I also told you last time that we can set unlimited mappings when it comes to scratch DNA for example you just have to say scratch underscore DNA and then you put the values over here which are supposed to be in quotes and appear green in color so for the first tip that you can play DNA scratch while pressed you're only supposed to add something like this in front of you just like that okay i have scratched dna with these values in then i say while pressed so that means if you're pressing on the key the dna will be scratching and then when you release it it will stop so you just be switching between different buttons of the dna and then the next one like i told you i think i think i just have to make this big a bit so you can see it clearly so so these are the mappings so the next one I was talking about is uh, having this play button over here. Just say play and starter. So you press the other key, I mean the scratch button, and then before you, you jump to the next one, and then you play like you, you had me in the beginning of the song trying to do that. So for the one that I'm telling you about having to go to a cue point is this. Okay, so this is the mapping over here. You go to cue one, that is the first cue point and then you stop the song from that very active deck then you'll be scratching while pressed also you can ignore this if you want to, to play the song right away after scratching the DNA and you don't want to press the play button so you just remove while pressed okay? just take note of that and then use it like that oh then the other one that I was telling you 
you have to have this button here for switching between the two decks. To me, I'm using F1 for deck 1 and then F2 for deck 2. So all you have to say over here is you have to say deck 1 should be selected and then you'll stop the song and you'll go back to cue point. So what do you do here if you have just scratched on deck 2 and deck 1 was playing? You time, you know when the deck 2 will be playing after the scratch DNA or when you're pressing the play button for deck 2, you press it at the same time to stop deck 1. And then again, it will take you back to cue point 1, I mean to, to the previous cue point rather. So you're ready to scratch again. So you scratch and then if you're ready to press the play button, you press F2 to stop deck 2 and then you're ready to scratch on deck 2 as well. This is just a quick one. I hope it's going to help you improve. And if this is helpful, please guys, I know you're going to give me a thumbs up for this video. I'm also going to ask you to at least subscribe if you're still new to this channel. And I think we should meet in the next video.